Hello and welcome to Ucara Basics. This segment I would like to talk to you about garden installation, garden walls, as well as retaining walls. Both are truly supported in their nature by their backers, and we'll talk a little bit more in depth about that. But before we do that, I kind of want to point out some of the diversity in the fascia panels. So the backer system truly is, again, the workhorse, if you will, of the Ucara system. But there's so much diversity here in the panels. I just wanted to kind of throw here a pitch panel, all right? This is a Bavarian pitch, kind of a rock face look, uh, more chiseled, more natural, if you will. Uh, in its counterpart here, the smooth. Also in the grays, the granite fusions. This is the Umbriano panels, this one French gray. Again, nice, clean, contemporary, smooth panel as well. Let's move here to garden wall application. Again, starting with the base plates, uh, this is kind of, again, an essential component to distribute and help maintain a stronger, longer lasting wall. Oftentimes the garden wall is 18 inches and less. So here on this 12 inch garden wall application we've got with just two courses, uh, recognize the fact that what differentiates the garden wall from the retaining wall is the backfill. So oftentimes you'll see this in planters and low, low planters where you don't have that opportunity to use that extra area to provide a backfill zone. And here on the garden wall, great application for it. Recognize the fact that again, the base plates give you extra support in a lower position, interlocking this course, and then the fascia panels also help interlock just simply two courses here. Notice also that the geotextile all right, is wrapped down. I like applying a little adhesive underneath the fabric and then also on top, and then gluing down your coping piece. So let's move across here to the true, I think, benefit that UCAR offers is this retaining wall application here. So this is available in two components, the corner backer that you'll see here, again, the channels across. Also, the large backer here, it's added an extra one inch overall in distance here. Uh, I will tip it up so and move this into a vertical position. Now oftentimes you'll see an application, say for example a raised patio. You may want to come vertical and then at that point transition to the standard backer. This is a great system to be able to provide that. True retention here with the larger block and then we transition on top of that again with the standard block. So this potentially being your retaining wall to the outside of that raised patio. So again, great benefit here in the lockup with the large backers, transitioning to the small backer. Great opportunity again to tie those two materials together. Now, when we talk about engineered retaining walls, what that involves is often the, the grid established here. So this is our geo grid, uh, bi-directional, all right? You'll notice that it overlaps in these two positions here over both of these lugs. So if I turn this block, what I'd like you to notice is that now with the setback, I'm engaging in larger channels here to be able to receive that and not impact this course against this course here. So it seats a little bit well, it's developed a little bit larger area, if you will, spacing to be able to provide this geogrid installation effectively. Recognize your glue points. Um, again, here on this standard backer, this is our true glue point here in center, all right? So these channels here won't provide any contact from this course. As you're setting this block down, you don't really recognize those channels. You're looking down upon the top surface as you would set that. So recognize on your glue points that you want to do center, if at all possible. All right, a few other things with that. How do we establish this gravel backfill? Well, the material best used is gonna be a clear aggregate, such as you see here. We've got 
three quarter one inch clear open graded base. And again, the reason is to prevent any kind of hydrostatic pressure on the backside of this wall. So um, how best to do that oftentimes? I like this technique here. So oftentimes on an installation, you'll have plywood out there just to kind of protect the lawn as you might bring materials around to the backyard. I often like to use that plywood here to develop this vertical plane. So here, if I'm coming into the wall with some imported gravel, I can dump that material in here. And then I can push that a little bit forward, bring soils in on this backside. So an easy kind of back and forth way to do that. You want to elevate your gravel to that grid point installation here. So at that point, I would stop and then I would continue up as you would go. So this is a great material to be able to achieve true retention, a good, solid, strong retaining wall. Thank you for your time today.